I finished screwing in all my pieces on the back here and again I just applied the same method that I did to the first uh, plywood at the end of the board and I put about four to three screws on each side it was enough to hold it down and it should give me a nice tight fit there and here's just another look at the whole solar panel basically is completed at this point we still have to add the junction box on the other end but everything else is basically completed for the whole entire solar panel and we're just about ready to actually attach it to the roof after this All right, what we have here is just a junction box, which I purchased off eBay uh, for around, I believe, 20 something dollars. I can't remember, I post the link online as well, but uh, this is optional, but most solar panels do have junction boxes on the back of them, and something that a junction box has inside of it, of course it has my connections, my positive and my negative connections, nothing special about that. But in the middle here is a blocking diode. And what blocking diodes do is it prevents the backflow of current. Usually when you have it hooked up to a battery, uh, it just prevents from damaging this whole solar panel. So that's just good to have. Uh, if you have a charge controller like the one I showed earlier in this video, uh, you don't need this in a way because charge controllers usually prevents the backflow of current in a way. So uh, it's just good to have it in here. I mean, it came with this junction box. So again, it's just... Um, extra protection I guess you could say. Uh, what I also thought I needed earlier in this whole solar panel project was a blocking diode and these are fairly cheap. I got this off eBay. Of course I'm not going to need it now but again it's just good that I went ahead and researched that. Um, again this was about I mean three dollars off eBay. They're fairly cheap and only thing you got to look at is the, the amount of amps that it blocks and I think this is about a 3.5 uh, blocking di diode that, that I got off eBay so again this is optional but again most solar panels do have these on the back it's going to give me a nicer look as well as secure my connections from the back as well so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and mount this onto the back of it screw it down and put silicon on it all right so now all I'm doing right now is just trying to get an idea of how I'm going to actually place it on the back here and again I have my two holes coming out of my ply board plywood and I'm just trying to position it here and I'm probably just going to put a screw in here I'm just going to drill probably two two holes that I can drill and just put two screws in the middle of it and that should hold it down and I just go around it with silicon all right what I also did it was I just cut a strip out of the plywood just so my wires coming out of the side of my junction box could have a little room to actually move around as it was kind of close at first so I just decided to give it just a little extra room so it won't really be too tight and maybe possibly mess up later down the road so just something to take in mind if you are going this route all right so now that I got my junction box in place I'm just gonna take my drill and just start to drill my holes in here Alright, so what I'm going to do before I actually screw the junction box down is I'm just going to go ahead and get my wires and everything hooked up. And I probably just need to trim this down just a little bit more. And trim this one down as well. And just be sure you actually know which one is your positive or negative from your junction box. So really I'm going to be doing a crisscross type method here. I'm just going to strip these a little bit. Okay. 
thing about this junction box is these two leads here they actually lift up so you can actually just place your copper wire what most people use is bus wire actually bus wire is supposed to be coming outside of this plot board here and it just basically slip right under these two leads here they're specially made for it as you can see so the bus wire would just slip straight into those but since I'm using copper wire I'm just gonna slide those under it. So as you can see, I have these crisscross, and the reason why is because I didn't know this junction box was going to come like this. Uh, this is my positive end, and this is my negative end, so I just have to crisscross them like that. And now I'm just going to screw them down, and I'm probably just going to put some solder on the end of these two leads just to hold them down. It's nothing else that's holding them down but these this junction box leads here, so I'm just going to go ahead and screw this down. And I'm probably just going to drill it the rest of the way. Just going to use my drill here to finish drilling them down. Fit. And again, I'm just going to go around it with silicon and I'm actually going to fill these two holes up with silicon as well after I put my solder on these two leads here. Alright, so now I've applied my solder to it and I'm just going to fill up these holes with silicon up to the very top. Even though it's going to be covered, I still want to make sure that my inside is secure as possible. Alright, so now as you can see, I just put silicon in this actual gap here. I'm just gonna seal those two holes up, and I basically just filled the holes up and then just somewhat filled up this gap in here, as you can see. And now I'm just gonna go around the perimeter of it and put silicon around that as well. Alright, so there we have it. I've put my silicon around the edge here. close it up I already have left it out for a couple of hours as well so what I'm gonna do now is just go around the edge of the solar panel and just secure that with silicon as well so you just basically put this back on top here and it's a nice tight fit which I like and there you have it So here after adding this new junction box I'm just checking the connections and I'm getting it close to 18 volts so I can tell that it's hooked up correctly. Hey guys, to speed up the process of me getting the rest of the videos out, just subscribe to this video as it does show me you guys are interested and I try to speed up the process of getting the rest of the videos out as I do have to edit these and I do try to make them interesting so again just subscribe to the video and I try my best to get them out a little quicker for you guys